On Sunday 26th of December 2004, the tsunami wave struck. An estimated 287,000 people lost their lives. Entire villages disappeared. Whole communities had lost everything. As news began coming in about the tsunami striking the Indian Ocean region, we in the Barnabas Fund became concerned as to how this would affect Christian communities within that region. We had been involved for a number of years in that area because in most of the countries affected, Christians had been discriminated against, more often than not marginalized. Persecution had been very real. So our concern was how would this tsunami affect the beleaguered Christian communities. So we took the step of contacting our partners in the region immediately to ascertain from them what the immediate needs were. On hearing from them, we immediately dispatched funds for emergency needs. That day, service is starting uh, 10 o'clock, and then I preparing here inside church a book called uh, Keeping Everything. And then uh, something noise, I can't tell what sound. Uh, uh, we four of us are here, uh, myself and then Pastor and another two believers. And then we see down there, we can see on the everywhere white color and water coming. I don't know if this one coming from the sea. And then uh, we also looking and see what happening. Water coming. And then uh, I asked Pastor what happened. And the, this one coming from the uh, sea and then we have to run. This is the Dutch Reformed Church in Matara, southern Sri Lanka. Although affected by the wave, the tide mark can clearly be seen. They believe as Christians they are to serve their community, and so they provided emergency aid to people in need. Many churches and Christian organizations who were affected are now involved in showing God's love to the desperate people in their community. Part of the initial emergency funds sent out by Barnabas Fund went to the Evangelical Alliance of Sri Lanka to kick-start their emergency aid program. It is right and good for Christians to help everyone in need, whatever their faith. But many of our supporters asked if they could channel their gifts through us, knowing that it would go directly to Christians through the local churches to encourage them to let them know that their brothers and sisters are standing with them, that they are thinking about them and concerned for them in their time of need. Paul talks about this in Galatians 6 verse 10, about us helping everyone and also supporting our family of believers. It says, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. This is Sevanayam and Paul, believers in Pakapatnam, India. And this is all that remains of Paul's house, and all his possessions were washed away. As I am ministering here. What happened? Um, uh, what happened? Uh, morning 8.30 we are starting the prayer. Question. Uh, this uh, um, service time. Then 8.55 the crowd shouting, come, water is come, water is come, water is come. Water came inside. Water came inside, uh, we don't know what, what, what can I do. Don't know the First thing comes little by little. Little by little. In this church members, four members died. Three um, uh, elders and one boy, baby. And church what is the damage? And there is some repair, what all the things what are in there. Uh, mic sets and here and the downside. And uh, song book, uh, mats, uh, Bible. Bible say, uh, the instruments. We are putting the instruments and run away, run away. Guitars and all the things. At that time we are uh, worship time, 70 person inside. Uh, 70 person they are, have the Bible and songs, books and diaries, what all the things, and several things here. They are putting the hair and run away. They want to uh, save the life. So 150 members here. 
all the believers lost everything after this interview pastor salva nayajan was given a gift from barnabas fund to purchase new bibles hymn books and mats for the church members to sit on reverend albert jebanizan the director of the theological college of sri lanka says what happened to him on the sunday after the tsunami hit and the college's response to the disaster yes i was uh, trying to think about a passage that would be appropriate for sermon i i, I couldn't I, i nothing came into my mind because i was trying to prepare something after listening to these stories yes so at last uh, luke chapter 17 verse 5 came into my mind it says uh, apostles went to jesus and said lord increase our faith and i went to the service the church was packed the local congregation plus members from the refugee camp the children and adults i announced the first hymn and the whole congregation started crying i can literally see the whole place people crying and crying and crying it was a very uh, painful emotional kind of experience so the college was reopened on the third now is the time for us to go back and live as pastors all the students were sent to different areas in sri lanka for them to go there live there listen to the stories of people help them to come to terms with the things that have taken place pray with them sing with them play with the children Many fishermen lost their boats and nets. For them their future is uncertain. They've lost their livelihood. We are giving support to Christian fishermen to mend their boats or provide new ones complete with sets of nets. We have also helped Pastor Baskerman to restart his business. He had a little shop next to his church. This was his only support, but all his stock got washed away in the tsunami. We gave him a grant to pay off what he owed on his lost stock and also to purchase new stock. His father will be running the shop for him. He now is supported and can care for his church and church members more effectively. So the water came and the the, the shop also damaged and all the things also damaged. So we cannot they cannot use the things again. They have to just throw it off. There are nine people died from nine families. Wife, mother, uh, grandfather. How do you say that? From nine families. Nine families. Many churches were totally destroyed. This is what is left of the Trinity Evangelical Church in Chennai, India. And this is what it used to look like. Barnabas Fund was delighted to bless this church with a gift so they can rent a room for their Sunday service and for musical instruments, PA equipment and for Bibles, all destroyed by the tsunami. One of Barnabas Fund's partners is the Indian Evangelical Mission. The director, Noel Cotian, talks about their plans. The long-term project will be to help in the building of the churches to help the believers to again come back to their houses and then build the damaged houses and so on we would like to send uh, counselors we we have already trained about 40 counselors in iel we would like to send them there and just talk with the it's called debriefing the work continues we would ask for your prayers for those who have suffered and also your financial support for our work in the following areas rebuilding christian homes rebuilding churches spiritual and psychological needs reestablishing self sufficiency helping christian children affected by the tsunami i would like to take this opportunity of thanking you our barnabas fund supporters for all that you have done 
in assisting our brothers and sisters at this day hour of need. Thank you for your prayers, thank you for your concern, and thank you for the great generosity which you have shown in seeking to alleviate the needs of our suffering brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.